Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. We are back in the saddle, and the Black Friday content never stops. That's the one I want to talk about today. The packs just keep on coming. We have lightning rounds almost every single hour, the 83 times 10 is refreshing every single day, new upgrade packs almost every single day, and of course, the market is moving a lot. Do we need to get involved with some of these cards that have gotten too low? And what should we do with the SBC fodder that's finally now starting to rise in more areas because of the SBCs dropped yesterday? We're going to talk about that today and cards to watch out for even today. As Thunderstruck players are in action, cards are gaining those upgrades with wins and player prices are moving. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's content. Now, again, there is a lot of content to go over because every single day we are getting a ton of SBCs. Let's start with the players, right? We'll, we'll try to go through this pretty fast and then talk theoretically about the future today and the market. Memphis Depay, nice card, already actually clinched an upgrade with Madrid winning yesterday, Atletico Madrid. So he's going to an 88 rated card. You can factor that into your decision if you want to do the SBC or not. Unfortunately, Barca drew, so De Jong is not going to get his first upgrade yet. They're going to have to wait on that one, and that also decreases the likelihood of him getting to that three-win threshold. They're going to have to win out now because their first game is a draw. So it's a bit disappointing for Frankie De Jong, but Memphis Depay, honestly, this is all I need to show you, and I'm sure a lot of you guys know this. This is why Depay is not that upvoted, right? Check out this 87-rated Thunderstruck Depay and then compare that to his Centurion Striker card. The Centurion Striker card with the 89 pace, 87, it's almost the same card with more pace. And yes, maybe the playstyle plus is a bit different because a Centurion's card, a uh, Centurion Striker card would not have the same playstyle plus as this one would. But that's the reason why Depay is very downvoted because he's got an evolution that is basically better than the card he already has. Now, an SBC that is basically an SBC for everybody is Flashback Oscar, the second Flashback SBC that we had leaked. Big W here from EA. And it's the biggest W is this is maybe the cheapest player SBC we've ever seen. It is 8,000 coins, 9,000 coins to do this card. It's literally a free 86 rated fodder card at the very least. And it's also a five star skill Brazilian center attack in mid with actually some really good traits. So if you're on a budget, do this card. He's at least a good super sub in an 86 rated fodder card that is less than an 86 rated on the market. So basically, big W there for that SBC because it's. Fodder. Now, also, we got to talk about the big SBC, right? The base icon upgrade. No maximum rating. You can pack any icon from this. R9. All the big boys are in this icon upgrade. You can do it three different times. It's going to refresh in a couple of days. Um, actually, three days from now, it's going to refresh, which is maybe a sign of where fodder could go later in the week this week. We'll talk about that. But speaking of fodder with the 87 and the 86 with an inform rated squad, this SBC is finally making some of our 87s and 88 rates move higher on the market. It also made informs move a good amount as well, those higher rated informs. But this SBC is pretty highly downvoted 74 per, 71 percent downvote it's 275k it's got to be a bit more expensive though right because you have that top that top tier upper echelon of icons inside of it for me since i'm crafting a lot of player SBCs right now and i'm going that route specifically with mbappe this SBC to me doesn't really seem that great to do but of course right now all the packs are out people are doing SBCs, and this is one that makes fodder move so we're not selling our fodder yet but it is slowly starting to rise as we take a look at 88 rated 26,000 coins for most of them 87s went from 14k to about 16k the fodder prices are moving up on the top tier on the top tier of the market guys we'll talk a little bit more about fodder here in a second also yesterday we had a new 80 plus double and a 78 plus player pick which actually the 78 plus player picks are really really solid value for how cheap they are so w there from ea and i gotta say this We've only had a couple of flash challenges. I'm disappointed, actually, with the quality and with the quantity of the flash challenges. We've had a decent amount over the past couple of days, but not as many as I think we had in previous years. And maybe that's because EA is running these like like flashback ASM was inside of a flash SBC. And I don't know if that has anything to do with it. And there's a lot of other upgrades packs that are still out. But I'm a little disappointed. I thought there was going to be more flash SBCs um to be working with now also i want to talk about objectives really fast you're like nate who cares about these objectives but we do fc pro live these games start on monday guys they start on monday tomorrow uh technically these first set of games which is group a which again is malin 
who is it? Colo Mani, Mane, and Malin are the only three cards on the market that you can invest in for their pros to play with those cards. I think Renan Lodi and Jen Ro are the other two cards that are in the group. Upgrades are coming as soon as tomorrow. So make sure you get this uh, linked up and ready. If you watched it before, uh, you should be able to get the packs from that. But that was a new objective that was dropped yesterday as well. Loftus Cheek, I know we already talked about him, but AC Milan won. So he's got an upgrade already clinched. He's going to an 87 rated card. Again, another thing that's kind of nice about these cards and their upgrades is they're already starting to achieve them after the games happened yesterday. So you're seeing prices move and maybe it can help you decide on whether you want to do an SBC or not as well. Speaking of those pro live cards, though, I did end up picking up. Uh, an FC Pro Live, Colo Mane, Colo Muani, and Mane. I picked up both of them because they were very low. And these cards, the out of packs cards fluctuate so much. I picked up a Sadio Mane at 450. He's now 490. I picked up a Colo Muani at, um, I think it was 557 because that was a very low price for him. And I believe he is how much? Over 600K at the moment? Yeah, like 600,000 coins. So both those guys, it was very low for their graph. I already have some Malins. I'm still holding those. Guys, these are live cards with upgrades that could be coming very soon. So that's why I've invested in a couple of those, kind of waiting on that part of the market to go up. Now, back to yesterday's content. We had a mini release, which is technically our second mini release. But wait, there's actually going to be more cards dropping into packs today? Yes, I'll talk about that in a second. Casillas, Little, Ansu Fati, Tisangov, and Joe Gomez. A solid mini release. Now, Ansu Fati is one for me that right now on the market is way too expensive. I mean, compare this Ansu Fati card to maybe his Evo card that you could have already evolved, or also compare it to like Gabriel Jesus, who's 170,000 coins and getting an upgrade, by the way, because Arsenal won yesterday. Like, I think that Ansu Fati card is very overpriced. Watch out for his price today. I do believe it could drop. Little uh, from Arsenal, the women's team, is actually the card that I've bought a couple of at 30,000 coins because I believe she has a game today a couple of the women's clubs play today on sunday i picked up, i picked her up for 30k very low risk in my opinion 88 rated card like how low can she go 25k okay i'll lose 5k a card at the very very most um or she could go up to 40,000 coins right many of these cards are always very rare so keep a close eye on little ansu fati and joe gomez for sure these cards will move uh but they're also going to get more supply today on sunday as we'll have more lightning rounds and all that stuff and some of them again have games today right that's what we have to talk about with these thunderstruck cards in a bit too is they're moving because they have games now i think we're getting more cards in packs today as well another mini release because this is the entire league that foot sheriff put out a couple of days ago we're still missing some cards from this right hemp from main city uh fakir frim pong's probably one of the biggest names of a card that has not been dropped yet um a right back from valencia um titi as a center back card that could be our mini release and maybe even another icon could be dropping as a mini release today on sunday so watch out very closely for that and then guys we have to talk about of course yesterday's content again we got another evolution but i think this might be an evolution that a lot of people are skipping the power shooter evo which does give a really nice shooting boost and a pretty solid boost all around the card but is it actually worth 150,000 coins it's three segments to it it is a handful of games it's definitely not as hyped as the toughen up evolution for the bernardo silva or maybe Conte, whoever you're doing this toughen up this one is incredible this power shooter one is really it's a grind man like what i would do with this is wait unlike the 150k uh the Yorente evo the box the box centurion one that was good to do right away and it was worth spending your coins on that but the upgrade that you, you get for these cards, like, it, it doesn't make it worth it, right? There is a prick, pretty sick, um, <laughs> didn't mean to say that. There is a pretty sick Julian Alvarez that you can get if you did do his uh, Centurions Striker card. You can get an 86 rated, I think it's an 86 if you didn't do the welcome. So that's a pretty solid Julian Alvarez card you can get. He's one of the more popular ones. Um, Martial is in there as well. Ferran Torres, Richarlison, Gakpo, Ben Yedder, a couple of the informs. Nicholas Jackson looks pretty good. A lot of people doing Santi Jimenez. He looks solid with that Evo as well. This is one I would wait on, man. I would wait. Once again, if you're doing other Evos like I currently am, I would wait to do that evolution and to really commit to it until we see more cards released that could potentially fit that. You've got 20 days to start it. you got plenty of time. But speaking of Evos, we have to talk about this. There was a leak yesterday for a crazy evo a hero evolution yes that is correct a hero evolution 
which only you would be able to evolve some heroes from, but specifically Park Ji Sung and Robbie Keane would be some of the best ones. Maximum overall 86, max pace 87, all positions allowed, max playstyles 8. That's pretty crazy. So basically, you would be able to take a lower level hero card, put them into the evolution, and upgrade them to something better, which is very, very interesting. I think about like a card like maybe Landon Donovan, who is, you know, really, really cheap, 13,000 coins. And after, I guess he's got too much pace, so you wouldn't be able to do him in this evolution, right? 87 max pace, so he wouldn't fit. What about like, I'm looking through the USA guys because this is hitting me personally. Dempsey's got 82 pace and 86 shooting. Would he actually fit into this? Maximum defending, 88. Maximum play styles. Maximum overall. Okay, so like Dempsey would maybe fit this. Yeah, he would defo fit this. That's something cool that you could do with this, right? Put it in a hero card that is not that good and then upgrade them. Um, and that's cool, right? That's cool. Park Ji Sung would be one of the most popular ones for sure. And once this Evo was leaked, the bro went from 30k to 70, 80,000 coins. Because imagine upgrading this card and, and making him even better. He's already cracked. That's a crazy Evo. I have to imagine, guys, that it would be paid. I think it would be a paid Evo. But since they dropped a paid one yesterday, maybe it would be free. Just knowing that a lot of people would have to go to the market to buy the hero card to then put into the upgrade. That's interesting. Also, what you could do that could make it really fun is if you have a hero in your club, like I had McManaman, who would be too high to do this. He's 87 rated, but like a hero that you've packed from like a hero upgrade SBC that you haven't been able to use. It's like, ah, oh, it's not good enough to use. Maybe you can put it in that Evo and it would end up being good. So that's kind of a crazy thing that was leaked yesterday as well that is impacting the market. And we are watching out for that very closely. Now, got to talk about the store. They're still going through the crazy lightning round packs. Um, some untradeable, some tradable. Yesterday, they had a new one that was a 500,000 coin, the Thunderstruck Supreme pack. Take a look at these odds. 47% of a Thunderstruck player, 5.5% of an icon. That's nuts. And even the Breakthrough Attackers pack, 39%. They dropped some pretty big packs yesterday. Also, I love how EA organized the store now. They make you go past all these other packs to get to the 10 coin pack, man. Very smart. Make sure you open your 10 coin and 30 coin packs every single time they're available. I, is that Fede? Oh, ho, ho, Ben 10 core. I was about to say, actually, Fede is in best of team of the week, so that could not have been his gold card anyway. But make sure you open the 10 and the 30 coin packs anytime you can. And don't quick sell, right? That was dumb because I want to show you guys more of the packs in here. But don't quick sell because... Um, you know, you can actually just rinse into those no man left behind. If you've never heard that term before, that is when you don't quick sell any cards. And even on a Roma Reno like that, I would go rinse that back into an upgrade pack and uh, use a couple cards from the club because you never know what you could pack instead of quick selling that card. So if you want to go through the trouble, that's what no man left behind means. But the guys, they're, these packs, they're here for to stay, man. Like a lot of these, they do expire today. 13 hours, it's going to expire at content time. The 300k pack, the 70k, the 10k, like they'll probably get refreshed though. A lot of these packs get refreshed at content. The dynamic duo icons pack is going to come back today. I would expect basically all those packs to get refreshed today on this game and maybe even some other ones. There was a lightning round pack. Like We talked about it uh, on the video last night, but the lightning round pack that they dropped that absolutely destroyed the entirety of the Thunderstruck card prices on Friday, Black Friday, that was an hour before the content drop, 6 p.m., so like 5 p.m. UK, that pack has not shown up yet again. But if it does, it's going to do some damage. So that's the risky part with these Thunderstruck cards right now, which in terms of these cards, let's talk about them, right? Gabriel Jesus was a card that I actually traded with yesterday. I made 40, 50,000 coins on a couple of his cards because right when Arsenal scored, people were like, oh my goodness, he's getting the upgrade. It's just like Road to the Knockouts, right? They play, they rise into the game. Jesus was 210 before the game. During the game, he was rising, rising, rising. Havertz scores, they go up, boom, 275,000 coins. After the game, with all the supply and people panic selling, he went all the way down to 175. He's up 10,000 coins right now. This is an interesting thing with these cards. They're moving while in packs. Emre Chan was another one with the crazy game that Dortmund had yesterday going down 2-0. He went from 93k during the game went down and then exploded to 115 and now he's 76k and actually under 76,000. He's 70,000 coins. I'm really interested in a lot of these cards specifically that got upgraded because yes, they're getting packed and yes, they're still getting supplied. But you have to think about Emre Chan or Gabriel Jesus right now. 
they've got basically plus one, whatever their card says right here. So like Gabriel Jesus is actually going to be an 87 rated card. We don't know when the upgrades are going to take place. Uh, but I do think that some of these players could actually rise up today. I've picked up some Emre Chans. Personally, I think Emre Chan, when he had the fantasy foot card last year, that card went crazy out of packs. I mean, I'm remembering that last year and thinking of this card here. Also, he's used by coin transfers a lot. See that? 910k for an Emre Chan. His price range is crazy, uh, which, I mean, doesn't really mean anything for trading with him. But um, I was picking up a couple of him at like 65, 66k. Th this guy, he might go up like 15k today. He could because technically he's an 86 rated car. Whenever EA do the upgrades, he's already hole at gang. He's going to go to 90 physical like that is a pretty sick card. If you're going to try to do any of that today, keep in mind who is already upgraded. Jolinton is already upgraded. Emre Chan, Gabriel Jesus. There's a couple of icons that are already upgraded as well. Um, you know, maybe for a guy like Neymar, it doesn't work out as well. He's already up a million coins, though. Look at Neymar yesterday. 3.9 mil. He went to 4.8 mil. Right now, he's about 4.7, 4.6. So these cards move, man. Even though they're in packs, they move like crazy. So watch out for the live games that are happening today as well. If you go to the Sunday games that are happening today, you've got a couple of, of Prem games. You've got Varane playing against Everton. Uh, you've got a couple of uh, La Liga games and Icons as well. They're going to be involved and, and linked to those. Uh, Inter and Juve is a pretty big game. I picked up one Quadrado for 134. He was really, really low. And then also, don't sleep on the women's games. Like I mentioned, I picked up um, Little from the women's Arsenal team because she was just dropped in packs yesterday. And they have a quote-unquote easy matchup, right? Arsenal's women's team are second in the league. They're playing West Ham, who is 11th. So I picked up a couple of Littles at 30K. I was like, you know what? Mini release, a little bit extra rare. Like I mentioned, very low risk. And if Arsenal do win today, this card is going to go to an 89. And actually, think about that. 89 rated fodder at the moment is 36, 37,000 coins. So it's not something that she's going to get upgraded like actually today, but hey, that actually doesn't seem like too shabby of an investment right there, man. Maybe I'll go snag a couple more of these at 30k because if they win, she would be going to an 89 rated. And that's how you have to look at some of these cards right now in terms of the fodder aspect. I think people are already looking at Lukaku as a potential investment as well. He's 22,000 coins. He was 21k yesterday. And um, yeah, I mean, if he gets one upgrade, if Roma win, do they play today? A lot of the Serie A teams are playing today. There's a lot of Serie A games. I'm sure Roma are playing today. Uh, let's see, Syria should be right here. Roma are playing Udinese. If they win, Lukaku is going to go to an 88. And I don't know. That's the other problem with this. That's the biggest problem with this, to be completely honest with you, is that we don't know when the cards are updating. We don't know when they're upgrading. We don't know. I'll pick up another little there for 30,000 coins. And that's a card that I can stick on my transfer list. If they lose, yeah, there's a little bit of risk. But, I mean, come on. First in the league versus 11th. And we're just really kind of waiting to see when the upgrades are going to take place i hope they take place fast ea has been releasing so many live cards recently it's very difficult to keep up with but there are a lot of good investments here and then looking away from the thunderstruck cards guys there are a lot of good investments on the rest of the market as well i mean again you think about all the cards that are in packs the best of campaign players some people are still really keen on buying these players like Saka is 300,000 coins he was an 800k card osman's under 200k he was a 600k card some of the best of team leaks as well. Guys, I think today on Sunday is going to be your best time to pick up some of these cards because the packs are going to be slowing down. And from here on out, the demand is probably going to start to take over a little bit, right? Everybody's opened up all their crazy packs. Maybe there's a little bit more panic today so you can watch the market. But like Cancelo was 217 between 2 to 217 yesterday, and now he's 184. Um, Musiala was consistently on, I remember seeing him on Friday for like 230. And he's down to 180 and even up a little bit in price. Maybe it's a Cristiano Ronaldo rule breakers. Uh, I keep saying that. Trailblazers card, 548. He's back down to almost where he was on Friday as well. I already mentioned the Sokka. Like, yes, this is a card that has been in packs. I mean, wow, dude. 300K for Sokka is kind of nuts. I mean, he was, wow. That's really, really low. Like, that's a card that if you have a lot of coins, buy one, stick it in the club. There's still upgrades coming on some of these Road to the Knockout cards. That's where I would be looking right now is the impact stuff, right? Seems a little bit more risky, but there will be cards from this re-release, the best of team of the week, all this sorts of stuff that will end up rising because they're live. People want to use them. And again, I'll say this, cards are already starting to go up in some areas of the market because people have coins and they want to go and buy teams. That's what I feel like today might be the start of is, is well, the continuation of that. Look at Karchawi. 
Karchawi is 415k. Look at her graph from yesterday. She started at 317. She's up 100,000 coins. Now, this could be a rarity spike, right? She already had one yesterday. But this is a PSG linking left back. One of the most meta left backs in the game. The Bacha SPC is now away. So the panic that this card had, you're starting to see people get coins and be like, wow, people know she's very, very good. They're going out and they're buying this card off of the market. Um, so I take a look at the rest of the out-of-pax market. Maybe, you know, like we were mentioning, we were looking at a couple of those Aruda the Knockout players. Again, focus on the ones that still have upgrades left to go, like Saka, still have upgrades left to go. Bruno Fernandes, upgrades left to go. You know, somebody like Holland, it, he doesn't get any more upgrades. They've already got the plus two from the 92 to the 94. So you probably don't want to invest too much there. But maybe it's the FC Pro Live cards. Like, these guys are in the bin. They're in the bin. That's why I picked up a Mane and a Colo Mwani for the fastest potential return on investment. But Karamo, 42K. Calvin Phillips was 170 on Thursday. 170, man. And he's now 90,000 coins. It's crazy. So I'm not saying the best time to buy is, like, right now. All I'm saying is watch the content drop today. Watch some of these prices because... If it's not that crazy of a day, I think tomorrow, and we see this almost every single week as well, right? We see that the market usually starts to kick back up and do pretty good as we get into the Monday, the Tuesday, the Wednesday. Like, I really think I got to pick up a Sokka today, guys, because yes, if EA dropped that one crazy lightning round, he could go down another 20 or 30K, but that's a risk that I think I'm, I'm, I'm willing to take. I think right now... Maybe I'll wait till after content. That's probably the safest play. I don't expect this card goes up too much between now and the content drop. But if it's a card that you want for your team, especially if it's an out of packs card that you want for your team, I think we got to be watching the market because it seems like we could be headed for a turnaround here pretty soon. It happened last year. It happens every year after Black Friday. We do see some good prices rise after the promo because content slows down. A lot of the SBCs are still there. But people go and use those coins and all the packs they've opened go and buy a bunch of teams. Now, let's talk about content today and maybe a little bit of the market today still too with fodder. Like I already mentioned, guys, I'm lazy listing my fodder. I do believe that it will still rise. 83s are like, they were just 1.4K. That's really, really low. I know EA is dropping a lot of packs, but a lot of people are still doing 83. I don't know about you. I'm still doing all my 83 times 10s. I'm still doing my 80, what is it? 85 times twos, the 85 plus player picks. Like, I'm willing to spend a few coins to go and do this stuff, right? And I think a lot of people still are going to be as well as those packs are staying with us throughout the rest of the week. I still really like a lot of these cards, guys, for like lazy listing investments. Bid on 83s for 1.4. List them for like 2.1 or 2.2. You'll probably get some sales. Bid on 82s for 750. List them for like 1.2 to 1.3. You'll probably get some sales, right? It's the lower tier fodder that hasn't moved as much yet. But again, as we get out of this weekend, I believe that it will. And the high tiers now started to move. I think now we're just lazy listing our cards. Like I'm listing my 88s for like 30 something K. 89s, I'm listening for like 47, like 10,000 coins over, trying to catch a lazy sale. Did I get any lazy sales yesterday? I, was, I wasn't I was listing like every single hour, but I got a Casimir at 39. I was a low listing. I was listing a lot of those higher than that. Foden for 10K, right? And 85s are six. So you're getting lazy listings. They're out there. Um, you're getting lazy sales. I mean, they're out there. So I would continue to do that. Like I already mentioned, many of these coming today. We're still looking for SBCs. Balak. Uh, Kuti Romero, Kang and Lee, we're still a couple of Thunderstruck SBCs short. We also had another flashback leak for Mang Mangala, I think it was, former Manchester City player. He is now in the, um, he's in the pro league. It is not that, man. I'm going to have to, what's his first name, bro? I'm, I'm completely forgetting the name. I'm going to have to look up the foot sheriff tweet um, about who the leak is really fast, guys. It is, yeah, it's Mangala right here. I don't know why I can't find his card. Mangala is getting a flashback SBC soon. Could be good. I hope it's cheap. Kind of the same thing with Oscar, right? He's from an off league, popular nation being French, but I hope it's cheap. Hope it's good. That could be a fun one that EA could drop. Maybe today, maybe it's not till later on in the week. We will have to see. Also, I think there's maybe a potential with the Max 89 icon going away. They could replace it with like a hero upgrade pack or something along those lines as well. So def definitely keep a close eye out for another sort of upgrade pack SBC. But it's more the same thing, right? I think we're just looking into the market today for potential buys for cards that could rise really, really well and make us some good coins today on Sunday. If you're excited for the content drop today and excited to see what EA release, drop a thumbs up on the video. Ooh, let's end the video because EA just refreshed uh the the 10 the 30 coin pack let's go open our 30 coin pack right quick what lightning armor did they drop 
180k. Um, 40 rare gold player items. Ooh, a 400k pack. Oh, that was already there and is untradeable. Nice. Promo packs. Let's go all the way back here to the back. Did our 30 coin pack. These have actually been kind of solid. I keep saying 30k pack as well, but 30 coin pack. French? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Wait, who? How? I'm so confused. Polo. It's because I was saying his name. Mike Theory. I have it on my trains list as well. I was going to say, Kototo and Mbappe are both in packs right now. I'll take an 84 and an 83. Boom. Take some golds. Rinse those into upgrades. That's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in a video tomorrow. It's been Nate's account. Peace.